Yeah, hi, I'm Paul. Paul Archer, paularcher.com. Uh, snowy Gloucestershire here. It's rather lovely here, isn't it? I must admit. And uh, the dogs needed walking or running, so I've been out there uh, walking as much as possible, running across the meadows. Had a great time. Got myself thinking about um, something to share with you called mastermind groups. Now, Brody and uh, Florence, and you can see them behind me here. There's, there's Brody behind me, I think. And Florence is over there. There's Florence. Now, Florence is the puppy, of course, and Brody is the mum. And for most of uh, Florence's life, she's been learning from Brody. She's been kind of like learning from the master, if you like, learning the tricks of the trade, how to get food, how to get walks, and how to be lovable, and all that kind of stuff that dogs do well. Now, in a way, the two of them got like a mastermind group. Um, it's not really an official one. Um, my, my thoughts today really are to set up a mastermind group of your own. I belong to a mastermind group which allows um, about eight people like myself, speakers, trainers from around the country. We meet up four times a year and we get to share challenges, problems, issues that we've got and help to give each other answers and it's really really effective so think about a mastermind group for yourself really there's a number of things you can do there's three types of uh, group that you can set up if you wish to the first mastermind group is particularly one like what I, I do at the moment where you have people like yourself and that's quite important because you do become who you mix with you may have heard that phrase before in other words if you uh, mix with people like you maybe slightly more advanced than you then you will learn but if you mix with people of um, less experience then you won't learn so find people that uh, that you get on with of course and are on a level sort of playing field if you like the first type of mastermind group is where you meet up say three four times a year it doesn't have to be face to face we, we do skype group meetings as well but each of you brings along a problem a challenge an issue something to talk about where you want some ideas and some help um, that's one type of mastermind group another type really um, which i'm particularly interested in setting up myself it's where each year you put a big goal on the table that you've got to establish and, and, and achieve that year. And the whole idea is you meet periodically and you're held accountable for achieving that goal. Yes, you get ideas and things like that from your peer group and uh, people giving challenges and extra suggestions, that kind of stuff. But they hold you accountable so that each month or quarter when you meet up, they like to make progress towards that goal. That's particularly useful if you've got a couple of goals, maybe a big goal, that's really challenging and you're finding it hard to get going. The third type of master mastermind group which is uh, quite informal really is where it's I call it a positive stroking mastermind group where if you're working on your own like I do and you need some company of people who are like-minded who can uh, give you compliments praises keep, keep, keep you, your, uh, your motivation going that's kind of like a motivation group as well as a mastermind group and obviously those three you can mix and match it's, uh, it's like anything in life isn't it but to think about setting up your own mastermind group for yourself for your own self-development they work really really well but the key thing of course though is to mix of people who will challenge you. Now you take Florence and Brody. I'm not quite sure what they are now. No, back of the field there. Take Florence and Brody. Now Brody hasn't really learned much from Florence. Okay, she's probably learned how to be more bouncy and how to be naughty because Florence is very good at that. But she didn't really need to learn that. No, Florence is doing all the learning, and uh, in, in a sense, it's kind of like a mentor arrangement. Those two have got it, they? No, what those two need now are some other dogs in the area where they can meet up with those dogs quarterly, maybe down the pub or whatever it needs to be. But the secret. The, the the truth is though that mix with people like yourself, people you get on with, people that can challenge you, people maybe better than you, maybe more advanced earning more money to challenge you so that you can gain from that mastermind group. Um, just a few ideas, if you want some more ideas always ask me, my name is Paul Archer, that's paularcher.com, um, it's snowing quite a bit here now in Gloucestershire so I better get indoors because it's getting rather cold and uh, the rugby's starting shortly as well. So speak to you soon, bye.